Hello friends, myself Chetan Gar, your mentor for today's lecture and I welcome you all to our uh, new uh, series International Mass Olympiad. In this series we discuss previous year questions of various uh, Mass Olympiad exams of various different countries and in today's lecture we will be discussing American Mathematics Competition that is AMC that is for 10th grade right AMC 10 previous year questions right. So this is the first question if you haven't tried it yet um, kindly pause the video and you should give it a try. Right. So the question says that this is from AMC 2019. The question says that the base 10 representation for 19 factorial is uh, all right. That is 1, 2, 1, 6, T, 5, 1, double, 0, 4, 0, M, 8, 3, 2, H, double, 0. Right. This is the uh, base 10 representation that is uh, our normal number system. For 19 factorial, right? Where T, M, and H, uh, they are some single digits that we need to find. And in fact, uh, further we need to find T plus M plus H, right? All right. So first, first let's find the value of H. Clearly, 19 factorial uh, has three multiples of five. Uh, it has five. It has ten. It has fifteen uh, as uh, as a uh, as a product, right? So 19 factorial will definitely end up with three zeros, right? That is for sure. 19 factorial will end up with three zeros. That simply implies that this H is nothing but zero, right? Now we need to find the value of T and M also, right? And for T and M, we basically need two equation, right? As T and M are two unknown. Uh, and uh, clearly we know uh, divisibility rule of nine and divisibility rule of 11 because that involves sum and difference of T and M, right? So uh, divisibility rule of 9 says that sum of digits must be divisible by 9. So let's find the sum of digits that comes out to be 2 plus 1, uh, 3, 1, 4, 6, 10, 5, 15, 20, 30, 33. Okay, 33 plus uh, this thing, uh, T plus M. H was clearly 0, so we do not need to add H here as we have already find the value of H, right? So that must be divisible by 9, right? So that, that simply says, uh, 33 is uh, that is 27 plus 6 so 6 plus t plus m that must be divisible by 9 right so that that further implies that t plus m that can be either 3 or it can it cannot be negative as uh, t and m are uh, must be whole numbers less than 10 right or you can say t plus m that can be uh, 6 plus t plus m that can be 18 also so t plus m can be 12 also right or if we further uh, go on a multiple of uh, the third multiple of 9 that is 27 then t plus m must be 21 and that is not possible because sum of any two single digits uh, cannot be greater than 18 right so t plus these are the two possible possibilities for the addition of uh, this t and m right so either the answer will be clearly 3 or the answer will be 12 right these are the only two possibilities either the answer will be 3 or the answer will be 12 Right, because s was 0 so t plus m plus h uh, that will act effectively means t plus m now let's uh, further find a relation one more relation between t and m now let's use the divisibility rule of 11 what that says uh, that says that sum of digits at odd places and sum of digits at even places their difference that must be divisible by 11 right so let's calculate the sum of the digits that are at odd places. So 0 plus h plus 3 plus m plus 4 plus this 0 plus this 5 plus this 6 plus this 2. Right. So that sum will be uh, 6 to 8, 5, 13, 13 and uh, 13 plus that was 4, right? Huh? 13 that was here. 13 plus 4, 17 plus m plus 3, 20. 20 plus m plus h. h is 0, so we can say this sum is 20 plus m, right? Now let's calculate the sum at even numbered places. That is 0 plus 2, 2 and 8, 10. 10 and 0 is still 10. 10, 11, 11 plus t, 12, 13. So that sum is 13 plus right so the uh, uh, divisibility rule says that they're different that is this thing should be divisible by 11 right so that means uh, this 7 plus m minus t that must be divisible by 11 right 
so that that will implies that either m minus t that can be uh, your uh, 4 because 7 plus 4 is 11 or this whole thing can be 0 also right that will further implies that t minus m that is your uh, minus 7 or oh, m minus t is minus 7 that means t minus 7 m is 7 right um, we cannot make this as 22 as then m minus t that should be 15 that is practically not possible similarly we cannot make it as minus 11 also right uh, the whole thing so these these are the only two possibilities two possibilities for t plus m and two possibilities for m minus t let's uh, name these cases as a b c d right so out of them uh, four possibilities can be there uh, a and c can give us a and c they can give us some solution a and d they can give us some solution right b and d they can give us some solution or uh, b and c they can also give us some solution let's consider these four cases one by one right if we talk about a and c that will not give us any practical solution A reason is simply if we add these two things then what we will get we will get 2m that is equal to 7 right and even number cannot be equal to odd number so that will not give us any uh, uh, practical solution in which t and m uh, are whole numbers less than 10 right now let's calculate uh, let's discuss about a and d that is again uh, that will not give us any uh, valid solution reason is addition of two whole numbers is 3 and their difference must be less than 3 but that is clearly given to be 7 which is not possible right in that particular scenario um, one integer will be negative right if you subtract these two things you will get m as negative now let's calculate b and d again from the same logic that we have applied here let's add these two numbers so 2 times t that should be equal to 19 this is again not possible as left hand side is an even number and right hand side is an odd number now we are left with only one case let's see whether a solution comes up from this case or not all right let's add these two numbers uh, uh, so we will get 2m that is equal to 16 that will imply that m is 8 and if m is 8 then t must be 4 let's resubstitute the value of m here so this is a real possibility right so in that scenario what will be t plus m plus h that should be 8 plus 4 which is 8 plus 4 plus 0 that is 12 right so correct answer for this question is 12 right as you can see this is this is a pretty simple question all you need to do is uh, all you need to uh, learn is uh, the divisibility rule of 9 and 11 right so let's let's move to the next question this is from 2020 right the question says that how many ordered pairs of integers of x and y satisfy this equation all right so this has a very big power of x that is 2020 plus y square equals to 2y okay one thing that we can find x bar 2000 uh, 2020 plus y square let's let's uh, bring it on the left hand side that is equals to zero now we can see we can see that we can complete this whole square so let's add one on the both on both of the sides so what we will get x bar 2020 plus that is nothing but y minus one squared that is equal to one and clearly we are interested in only integral solution so this is clearly greater than or equal to zero so practically uh, x bar basically this thing y minus one that can be either zero or it can be one or it can be minus one i guess these are the only zero one minus no minus one is not possible it is basically two right because 2 minus 1 is 1. Practically, y minus 1 can be uh, only plus uh, y minus 1. My bad. I'm, I am telling you the value of y. No, no, no. y minus 1 can be 0 or it can be 1 or it can be minus 1. That further implies that y will be either 1 or uh, it can be 2 or it can be 0. Right? Why we are taking these only these three values of y minus 1? Because then the square of that particular thing that will be greater than one, and hence, um, since this is this must be a positive number, so that the, the, their addition will not be equal to one, right? So the only three possibilities for y is one, two, zero. Let's consider them one by one. Let's take when y is one. If y is one, then this is zero. Then that will implies that will implies what? 
x part 2020 that is equals to 1 and then that implies x can be either plus 1 or it can be minus 1. So we are getting uh, two solutions from here, two ordered pairs in fact, 1 comma 1 and uh, x is minus 1 comma y is 1, right. Now let's consider the second case, if y is 2, then that will implies that x part 2020 that is 0, that further implies that x is uh, 0, right. So that will give us one more ordered pair 0 comma 2, right. Now let's consider the third case when y is 0. That will again implies that x part 2020 is 0. That will again further implies that x is 0. So again we get only one uh, new ordered pair that is 0 comma 0. So in all we are getting these many ordered pairs. So how many ordered pairs? We are getting only 4 ordered pairs. So answer for this question is 4, right? Let's proceed to the next question then. Okay. The question says that uh, n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on be the Okay, the results are written as 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, till 43, 44, all right. Uh, let this is the, what uh, be the 79 digit number, all right. That is formed by writing the integer from 1 to 44 in order perfect, one after the other, other. What is the remainder when n is divided by 45, all right. So if n is divided by 45, um, we need to find the remainder. Now, uh, divisibility rule of 45 is, 45 can be written as a product of two co-prime numbers uh, as 5 into 9. So, a number will be divisible by 45 only when, if it is divisible both by 5 and 9, right? So, uh, divisibility rule of 9 is sum of digits must be divisible by 9. So, this thing, let's, let's calculate the sum of digits of this particular n. So, sum of digits of n, that is simply, um, what, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus, okay, this is, alright, alright, just a second. Sum of digits of n, um, that will be, in fact, that must be divisible by 9, right? Uh, how uh, we can say that? See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? This sum, this sum is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2, so 9 into 10 by 2, that is clearly 45, right? This is divisible by uh, 9, right? And then 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, 1, 8, right? Uh, and uh, this sum, 1 9 till 1 9. This, uh, when we'll add this thing, this thing, the sum of this number will be 45, which is again divisible by uh, uh, this 9. And how many digits are there? 10, right? So, 1 that is left with sum of this single digit 1, uh, no, that will be 10, and remainder by 9 is 1, right? Now, let's come to 20 from 20 till 29, right? Sum of uh, this part will be 45 again that is divisible by 9 and sum of this part will be 20 and the remainder from the 9 will be uh, 18 plus 2 so that will be 2. So we are just calculating the remainder uh, when the sum of digits are divided by uh, 9 right. Now let's see when uh, for the numbers from 30 to 39 there this part that is unit digit sum will be 45 again and that is divisible by nothing but uh, you are uh, 9 right and sum of uh, tens digit will be uh, 3 times 10 which is 30 so when divided by 9 we will get 3 as a remainder right so what we are left with 40 41 42 43 44 right uh, this will be the sum clearly this is um, 5 times 4 I guess yes so that will be 20 plus this is uh, 4, 3, 7 to 9 plus 1, 10, right? I guess, yes. Now, let's see the sum. Uh, now, what is this sum? Uh, when this is divided by 9, this is clearly how much? 30, 36, 36. The sum is 36 and uh, that is clearly divisible by 9, right? So, sum of um, this n, these digits n, that will be uh, what? That will be divisible by 9 or uh, what you can say up uh, we can also do it like you can just simply add till 44 
why we are doing this because uh, sum of digits is equivalent to sum of sum of the digits right so this thing is also divisible by 9 so practically what we can say the sum of digits of n that is divisible by 9 so till till now we have decoded the sum of digits of n that is divisible by 9 right let's let's further proceed okay so we have decoded sum of digits of n is divisible by 9 so for a number to be divisible by 45 that must be divisible both by 9 and 5 right clearly sum of digits of n is divisible by 9 so we need to find the remainder uh, when it is divided by 45 right so uh, if we subtract if we and the divisibility rule of 5 is clearly the last digit should be 0 or 5 now if we are subtracting anything any multiple of 9 from this n then the number still is divisible by 9 right now our aim is to uh, subtract a num multiple of 9 from this such that the resultant number has a unit digit as 0 or 5 just to make it divisible by 5 also right since the clearly the last uh, digit is 4 so either we can subtract a multiple of 9 which are ending with which is ending with 4 or like 54 right or we can uh, subtract a number uh, which is a multiple of 9 uh, and is ending with 9 also right like simply 9 9 multiplied by 1 right why we are doing this because if we are subtracting 54 or let's say if we are subtracting 9 then this uh, number will after subtraction then this number will have a unit of either 0 or 5 and hence it will be divisible by 5 as well as 9 because the whole number was uh, a multiple of 9 and we are uh, subtracting a multiple of 9 also right so let's subtract 9 so what we will get we will get uh, we can in fact uh, rewrite the number n as what you can say 1 2 3 4 5 and so on till 42 43 and we are subtracting 9 from 44 right so that will give us 3 5 plus 9 right we can uh, write this number now as you can see n was uh, divisible by 9 and clearly this is 9 so this must be divisible by 9 as well as by 5 so we can claim that this is a multiple of 45 right or this number is clearly divisible by 45 so the remainder must be 9 right so what is the remainder when n is divided by 45 that is simply 9 right so that's it guys uh, that's it today we have discussed uh, some previous year questions of amc 10 and in the next session we will be discussing um, previous year questions of mass olympiad of some different country so we will meet you in the next session till then please take a very good care of yourself thank you bye bye